today I'm not going to share about certain aspects of a business or some technical aspects about life, etc. Today I'm going to share about one important thing, whether you are looking for a better well-being for yourself, for your family, going beyond your well-being, exploring and achieving success, whatever your definition of success is, whatever you want to do in your life, nothing is possible until and unless you do this and that thing is you turning inward. And when I say turning inward, if you have that intensity, if you have that involvement, that inclusivity, or let me put it in terms of your willingness, that intense willingness or devotion, the way you turn inward is something that is going to take you beyond what you can ever imagine. Because what is going to happen is you can operate from a fact of your known information, of your own experience. You cannot imagine something that you don't know, right? So imagine that if there are certain things in your life that can actually happen to you, but you are not aware of it, you can never imagine about it, how would that be? And for that, what you need is a guidance, a guidance from somebody who is not coming from a, just a heap of information load or uh, some bookish knowledge or something, but somebody who is coming from their experiential aspect. And that what I'm referring to as is Guru. If you have found your Guru, it's amazing. But if you are somebody which majority of the people are still looking for is you are looking to have or find your own guru, then all I would say is a lot of people, they follow different people. Of course, they test and try and then they understand, no, this is not the right person or this is not what I'm connecting to or whatever it is. Then there is only one way of doing it. That is intense your longing so much that the guru appears himself. So this I'm saying from my own personal experience because I never even thought about these things. I never even understood these things. So all this aspect of going into a spiritual path, working on your own spirituality, working on your internal self has never been a part of even of my wild imagination because I never even knew these things. So the only aspect that I knew and I always detested was that blind faith or blind understanding of certain religious stuff, certain, you know, stuff that did not make sense any time to me. So I always resisted those things. But when certain things happen in my life and a huge transition happened in my life and my longing became so intense. My longing of seeking became so intense. And if you say that I'm a seeker and I'm seeking this thing, then you are not seeking. Because what happened was when I was looking for something and I never understood what that something is, I could never even still define till date. So I don't know what I was looking for because I was seeking and what I was seeking, I don't know. There is no definition to it. There is no explanation to it. Although I didn't know what I was looking for, but my longing was so strong, so intense that the Guru appeared himself. So when your longing is true, when you are at least true to yourself, you can wear masks, you can play different roles, you can do all the drama because of your family surroundings, your work surroundings, you have to be in a certain manner in the world, you be it, no problem. But at least when are you, you with yourself, if you keep aside all these drama, you will see what you really want internally. And when that longing becomes so intense, so strong, there is no way the universe is not going to listen to you. There is no way you are not going to find the solution. And it's not just about having faith or, um, you know, uh, just following what others are doing, etc. No, if it's in your experience that I want to break free from all my limitations. I want to break free from this kind of life and I want to experience what's there beyond uh, what I can not even imagine. Then there you are at the edge when that is your transition which is happening. All you need to do is you need to take the jump because if it's very simple, right? If you do not jump in the water, you will never learn swimming. So you cannot learn swimming in your head for that. 
when your longing is so strong if your intensity within you is so strong you will find your guru and until and unless you get onto this path of your inner exploration or spirituality trust me in the next few years you will see the way the world is moving this is the only answer this is the only solution to anything and everything that you want to do that you don't want to do you want to happen whatever it is because whatever you try to control around you nothing will happen your way until and unless you take charge of this thing okay so whenever you are looking to go beyond what you are already experiencing what you are already having always remember look inward turn inward because in is the only way out as my guru always talks about so if you are somebody who is looking for a journey to begin with and don't know how to go about it i am putting the inner engineering link down below you can go ahead go ahead and register for the same see for yourself whether it is for you whether it is working for you etc experience it yourself and then you take a call because everything that we hear we understand is a nothing but just an information overload everywhere but what are you going to do with that information right how are you going to turn that information for something useful to you would you only stick with the information or you are also looking to go beyond that and experiencing it yourself are you more of an experiential person or you are just somebody who just gobbles on information so all those decisions are to you but today i wanted to come up and say this thing because i see a lot of people who are suffering around and in the coming few years the way the world is moving a lot of people are going to suffer more until and unless you take the control in your own hands of your own life and this is only going to happen when you turn inwards and spirituality is the only answer to that and when i say spirituality i'm not just talking about reading some scriptures or books because i know some people who are great in reading and everything yet their experience of life is so shallow that you can just look at them and tell them that this is not the person i want to be associate with so if you are somebody who is looking and longing to go deep in your life in your experience of your existence then the time starts now there is no age to it there is no time to it there is no limit to it so the journey begins so let me know if you have any questions and you can also drop me an email as well and i will see you soon in the next video and may the spirituality journey take you to places where you can never even imagine and you blossom as a beautiful life thank you namaskaram